Yes, good morning. It's Jim from jagfx.com. It is Tuesday, the 2nd of October, 2018. This is my daily video on what I've done this morning on the daily charts only on both the high probability and the mod MACD methods. Fairly quiet start for a Tuesday. Let's have a quick look at the charts. We'll start with the high probability. Uh, two new trades this morning actually, so let's have a look. Euro Yen was the first one. Uh, took a sell this morning on in this area here. Remember my red lines represent sell, so where they intersect is my entry price. Um, we can see, I'll just short this a bit. Price has been at a previous high, so you could say for you know, a resistance level, I guess, or a double top. I would probably call it more of a resistance level. Uh, I was stopped out in a previous sell in here somewhere down here, so and price has gone up a long way since. There is still some bearish divergence there. I'll just move that back here. Uh, across, you can see, you can just see the red trend lines. Red means bearish trend lines. Um, the MACD is already starting to head down. It's a fair way above the zero level. So looking to short this, the MAs are fairly tight. So looking at least try and get down towards those MAs if I can. That's Euro Yen, new sell. And USD, Singapore dollar. And now I'm a little bit peeved about this and a bit, probably if I had a closer look, instead of being half asleep, I probably wouldn't have taken this trade. The reason being, you can see where the blue horizontal line is. That's my entry level. The spread was ridiculous. It was like, the, uh, 23 pips so I'm not happy about that um, just the way it is so technically I have to make up 23 pips just in the trade just to get the break even so I wouldn't have taken that but I was half asleep just first thing in the morning wasn't really concentrating but anyway there's a, a support level down here in this blue aqua line um, it's a valid buy signal you can see the MACD is below the zero level price came back to the MAs so just probably looking to take it up to this previous high, if nothing else. But I just want to make up that spread. I'm a little bit peeved about that, but that's just the way it is. That's so Euro Singapore dollar. And I checked on a couple of platforms, and it was the same on both. All right, let's just move over to the Daily Mod MACD. I'll just have a quick look. A um, couple of things. News. Today, we've got Aussie cash rate, which is interest rate. They're not expecting a change. It's at 1.5 at the moment. Not expecting a change. I don't know why, for some reason, they don't consider this cash rate a high-impact uh, event. That's why I have to go on my filter and change it so it comes up as orange. But the RB, the Royal Bank of Australia, rate statement is a high-impact. So that's how I knew it was there. So that's today in about four and a half hours. Now let's just have a quick look before I switch over to the Mod MACD. This is the um, this is where we're at on the demo account that I'm trading the high probability trades on. Here's the new trades this morning, Euro Yen. That was a 1% risk for some reason. See, I told you I was half asleep. I've written MM in there, which normally means Mod MACD for the USD Singapore dollar. That should be 1% also. And you can see minus 22 pips already. It was minus 23 before as soon as I took the trade. So that's a 1% risk there, 1% risk. You can see the margin level percentage getting a bit low because I'm on this 1 to 30 leverage, which is not ideal, especially when I can trade 1 to 300 with my accounts. A um, little bit down, $100 or so. But that's just the way it is. Early days, early days. So let's switch over to the Mod MACD daily. Just not much happening here. One new trade on the pound dollar, new sell. So on the pound, took a new sell this morning. Past MACDs confirmed through the zero level. The um, standard MACDs down, red QMP dot. Didn't quite close below the 25 SMA, but there's enough criteria to go short. I get a lot of questions about these green and uh, red and green dots on the fast MACD. I've explained it a few times. I'll just 
reaffirm this is a custom indicator from um, Jennifer at simplycombo.com. That's simply, there's an S I M P L Y, combo, C O M B O.com. Look, I had to buy them, so I can't really give them away for free. Um, they're just a visual aid. They just they just show the cross. They're not perfect because sometimes they they present. Then if the cross actually doesn't take place, they remain on the chart, so they're not perfect. But uh, you can get her other indicator called a pure hopper, I believe. Pure hopper, H O W P E R. It's free. Instead of putting the dots on the chart like this, all you do is modify it to suit these settings, and it puts arrows on the actual price chart. Do you guys already know about this? If you want more information, just drop me an email and I'll get it to you. But I can't give you this one unless you buy it yourself. It's not mine to give. All right, so it's a pound USD. And the other one was the CAD Swiss. We're in a good buy here, back here. Burst straight through the 240 LMA. Gone up nice and high now. Up near this previous high. So this morning I've closed one third of my trade and set a stop now down here at 0.73927. So taking a bit of profit there, it's about 180 pips or so, and putting the stop in place, and we've still got two thirds of that buy trade left. All right, guys, I think that is it. Like I said, fairly quiet start to the day. Be careful at Aussie news if you're in Aussie pairs, interest rates. Other than that, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't done so, please do it. And if nothing else, at least hit the like button. And I will get onto the emails and inquiries from Facebook and soon. Have a good day all. Cheers.